next topic team very very important topic so we'll see how to develop the okay, rest apis how to develop the okay, rest api using no here spring boot team so first i want to give overview of the rest api team. why this rest api was more popular in the market team after that we will develop one end to end application we will develop one end to end applications using this rest api and all okay now we will see so what is the use of this market you know okay rest api now here see i have an simple hdfc bank so it is an okay hdfc bank HDFC bank is providing services to whom HDFC bank is providing services to phone pay HDFC bank is services to G pay HDFC bank is providing services to Paytm let's assume team before app services was coming into the market your hdfc what technology is using phone pay also it should use same technologies gpay also is using same technologies paytm also is using same technologies but when web services came into the picture your hdfc may using dot net your your phone pay is using java your phone pay is using java okay your phone pay is using java your g pay is using php your paytm is using dot net okay now here see but these are the different technologies but this is a different technologies how this java guys can communicate with hdfc how this gpay guys are communicating with this dot net how this dot net dot net how it is happened see with the help of if it is soap based web services a double s dlt it is in the form of xml if it is a rest based web services swagger team swagger so based web services xml crest based web services swagger what this hdfc will do you know this hdfc we are into rest it will provide the swagger documentation swagger documentation is json or yaml any technologies guys should understand this swagger what is there inside of this swagger what is your api url how to access your api is your api http get method or post method what data format is required are you expecting a xml or json what is the error details everything is available a plain json it's not specific to any dot net it's not specific to any java what this phone pay guy will do phone pay guy by using swagger he will prepare the request object in which the technologies he will prepare the request object in which technologies he knows only java only he will prepare the request object in java now this request object will be converting into json or xml but with respect to phone pay it is a java object only but at the consumer in real time whoever is developing that guy is the provider whoever is calling that guy is the consumer team at consumer end if i will give plain java via network by doing serializing this hdfc fellow does not understand my java that's the reason we need to convert my java object into json 
or okay, XML. Who will do at consumer end? If you are object to at consumer end, if you are object to do, if you are object to do, Java object to do, JSON means it is called Jackson will do Jackson serialization. Jackson will do team serialize will do. So this Jackson will goes to so Jackson is the jar which is okay, responsible for to convert Java object to, to JSON. JSON is common for all the technologies team. All the technologies. This JSON will go to go to your HDFC bank. At HDFC bank, HD in, in, in .NET also some technologies are there. That technologies will be converted into request object only but in which technology is .NET. Your provider don't know request is coming from which technology is. Your provider feel like request is coming in JSON. So JSON will be converting into .NET object. In Java and Jackson is there, .NET also some framework is there. He will process the request to team. Now he will give a okay, response. What response he will give? What response he will give? He will give also response in the form of .NET. Because your HDFC knows only .NET only. He is trying to understand sir. I can skip all these things. It's not. I can tell him simply it's not my job but he will be more easily you know following but here okay dot net only but if you send directly to dot net phone pay guy can't understood but in dot net convert this okay response object into json slash okay, xml this will go to where your phone pay at phone pay end, at phone pay end, some processors are there. Convert this JSON or XML to your Java object. Give this Java object to whom? So, same Jackson is there to convert your JSON to Java object. Now, what happened? This same swagger is given to whom? GP swagger is given to whom? PayTMT. By seeing this swagger documentation, by seeing this swagger documentation, what this phone pay, uh, this PHP guy will do? Convert your, he will pre prepare the PHP object only. He knows only PHP only. This PHP object will converting into XML and JSON. You cannot send directly P P PHP object to your this guy. That guy can't able to understand what you are sending. Here it is a request object only. In request object, which technologies you are using? Request object you are using, which technology is PHP? This request object will go to here. Here what is there? Here we have JSON or XML is there. It will go to where here team. Understood team. Please, please try to understand. It is a okay, request object here. Who will do in dot net converting this? But what this okay, dot net guy will do? Always a okay, dot net guy will give a okay, response object only. A okay, response object in the form of okay JSON or okay, XML. Once you got this again here, your okay, response object will be converted into for what php only you may ask now paytm also is a okay, dot net okay, hdf also is a okay, okay, dot net do you need again this okay, dot net to in json json to dot net 100 percent yes your provider don't know provider will not tell hey i am using dot net provider will tell doesn't matter whoever is calling my application they need to send json to me paytm guy also convert prepare the request object convert this okay, request object into json there is no other alternative also 
what this guy will do prepare the okay, request object in dot net now convert this okay, request object in xml go to okay, xml here again here convert to here xml or json same xml json will go to here same xml json will go to here at provider end some processors are there it will convert again give this to here give this to here now your okay, hdfc provider will process it it will give a response to whom your response object okay, response object you know okay, which technology is json you know it is a dot net convert this okay dot net to, to json or xml your provider don't know consumer is using which, te which technologies consumer don't know provider is using which technologies everything is called in the form of json or xml here both for us here in our architecture for us both provider and consumer who java here we are using java here we are using java because i should develop java only maybe i will give my service to n number of a technologies guy if it is java here you have a jackson api every request every request what this jackson will do it will convert request object to, to json send this json to whom send to, to provider here json will converting into object here your provider will process the request what your provider will do provider will send always provider will send always the response object in java that response object will be converting to json json this json will be send to consumer what this consumer will do consumer get the response in json and convert it to response object the two team provider will prepare the response see here your response object will be converted to json response object will be converted to json send this json to whom consumer you will prepare only a response object at provider end who are there jackson is there jackson has the responsibility to convert a response object to json send a response object to whom you are consumer at consumer end convert this okay okay response object to, to json sorry json to a response object now you are client able to process it same if it is okay if it is okay xml who will do all this stuff both consumer and you your java object will be converting into xml and provider and your your see consumer and every request object to json provider and json to object consumer and object to xml provider and xml to object again provider and your object to do okay xml consumer and xml to object here provider don't know consumer using which technologies always consumer end it is giving json or okay, xml it is not specific to any technologies consumer don't know what technologies your provider is your he is using always this guy also will give json or okay, xml so now that's why this jackson is very critical team the process of converting java object to json is called serialization the process of converting java object to json is called serialization the process of converting 
json to java object is called deserialization is called deserialization team understood team okay team shall we develop one okay rest api team using okay rest api when we can use in code operations and okay everything we can start team or any and okay enable how to okay enable swagger also can we do it team we will start our quick development i would go for our uh, spring tool shoot now we will use end to end project team yeah now let's see team i till now what we have okay, implemented i am developing one simple product uh, service application team with all the operations like with all the operations like code operations create update delete okay, everything we are going to see that okay, example team and also will enable swagger also team let's see how how it would okay happen okay everything will see practically team. product service click on next package com dot stenotech here i need web is required if you want to use actuator we need actuator is required if you want to use uh, if you want to use uh, uh, data jpa data jpa also you can use still what else no done okay or actuator also done team i will use okay dev tools here i will explain what is the use of this okay dev tools team dev tools also i am adding next finish See, it is my product still it is loading team open the okay, form.xml by default if you observe by default this would provide team this plugin would provide it if it is eclipse will not provide if it is spring tool shoot because this plugin would become as a executable jar this plugin would become as a executable jar team okay see how to use this annotations and all i would explain team build path configure build path how to develop this okay, rest api so in the process of okay, developing this okay, rest api we have to use multiple annotations team what is the multiple annotations here how to identify the one is at the rate rest controller it is to recognize to recognize it as controller team next one is at the rate at the rate request mapping to map uri to to map uri to resource okay, resource means here methods so how you are how to knows what format you should give there are attributes are there produces produce means your api what kind of format it should produce application slash json your api should produce both okay, xml and json you okay as xml so, consumes means what you are consuming from your your client i would say produces response data format json or xml data format means okay response in okay, technical representation how you are how you are okay, representing your data consumes means same 
बेस्ट रिप्रेजेंटेशन here it is called okay request okay representation how you are okay, representing your request that's why go to your application sir see always your spring boot main class should be in global root package if you are not keeping root package what happened that that current see okay i would explain i am i am creating the classes like product controller i am creating class like product service i am creating class like repository here it is a let first controller you can use a okay, request mapping at class level you can use a okay, request mapping at method level if you at class level this mapping would be applicable for all these methods p1 version something now i would start kick here i need to represent here model also new class what is that here com dot so you know take dot entity class it is entity the product one now see how to develop my simple application how to develop the simple application now we will see it sir how to develop the so simple application in in real time service means generally you have your interface class i product service which is okay, implementation class it is a product repo is not a class it is an interface at the rate repository simple it is it extends apa repository go for a product here what you want to give you want to give long you want to give integer whatever it is go for this done what is the input you are going to give in our db you have a product in our db yes view table view data what is the view table properties product id what type it is product id integer type it is integer unsigned int unsigned correct now we'll see it is an which implements by product which implement i product service it is by chance it took care it is a okay. let's see what are the methods are available quick team what are the methods are available public public okay response entity response entity here i would call it as a product get 
product string product id how to get the products how to get the products team okay now how to get the products now at the rate request mapping here some attributes are there products slash id id slash method it is a value team we have a different attributes are there here it is a value what is the method it is get a method test method dot get method if you will not to provide anything it is only for a okay, response here default one is okay produce by default your spring boot will provide application slash json by default your spring boot will provide application slash json if you want you can override also it's not a problem add okay written statement i will see wherever you want you should update this wherever you want you should update this one please see you want get all products from db no need this string but here you will get as a list of products list of products Go ahead here you should use update product now here it is get only now how to use post here you can use create product post means okay you are okay, inserting data into database here your input is input is product team output is here wide team output is here wide okay, does not return anything in this output here will not return anything in this output just it will be empty here now create or update update means now here it is a put operation team already okay data is there you are updating something team you are updating here you are reading that also data from the server you should give produce as well as you should give consumes consumes means get the data from the you want support both you should give in the braces json come okay okay xml team understood team okay everyone now create is done no okay, update is done create product update product here it is update product team here it is okay, update product team okay now if you want you can make it as delete product also it's not a problem last one delete product make it as delete team so either you will give product id or you can give it depends id okay how to extract the data here team so we'll focus on here at the rate auto wire i product service product service what is there inside of this product service team you need to add 
all the method stream you need to add what are the methods are okay required you need to add all the methods here what are the methods are required you need to add void create product product to product create product update product for update you should go for string id is enough delete product for update also you should give delete product only string id is enough get products get all products get product also only id is enough return type is product t get all product means no return type only here the response is here list of what you will do here add unimplemented methods here it is a component of service or you can give here you need to call at the rate at where product repository product product repository okay now what happened here is it get product right team now you should give product repository dot save entity means product okay. now next one team it will give product repository dot here so much of okay, business logic is there i am not writing team product update means what update update also it would be save only team there is no case separate one here product repository dot save means let us try is there any update is there no team as my knowledge there is no update okay next one team product okay repository dot delete id team ID means we, we should prepare for an okay, integer basically no problem delete ID delete product delete ID no no go to your repository sorry your interface Delete means ID only. Here it is expecting, delete is a okay, expecting entity or what? Delete is expecting, okay, entity team. Can't we delete uh, it is expecting, okay, entity. No problem. We'll give our delete also as an entity. I thought only one variable will work. Delete all this. Delete means always a quantity. Delete by ID. Delete by ID also will be there. Yes, it is an integer. Should keep an integer T.
understood delete product method will change in your implementation delete product get all product <laughs> now all good team now get all product means here it's okay okay something like that you should give by okay integer by id product okay repository dot get find by id give integer written as a product i am returning that product here is get all products optional okay optional is, is usually to remove the uh, remove this value team optional dot get value now what it will do Find all. It would give list of the products. How to apply my Swagger documentation team? How to apply this Swagger documentation now? See my okay, development is done. Now how to apply my Swagger documentation? How to apply my my product to properties? How to apply my tables? Private integer. What is your DB ID? Product ID. Private string product code. Private string name private string int quantity private float price private string description Alt S R Alt A Dante. See in your real time, most of them in your real time. I'm referring here entity. Most of them in your real time, you don't need this uh, setters and getters team. We would use for what to avoid this setters and getters. Use Lombok team. Have independence. Lombok. What is this Lombok? To avoid unnecessary, uh, you know, to avoid this, okay, every time okay, setters and getters, it will okay, remove the okay, setters and getters team. It will remove the setters and getters team how to do this lombok on top of the property you should give at the rate setter will take care you would give at the rate getter it will take care it will give at the rate to string it will take care okay, instead of writing these many at the rate data team Should not write too much of code it, it is the combination of getter setter argument constructor to string equal and hash code t now done now i should go for my table 
now i should go for this first this class is an okay, entity class team i should give an okay, entity and i should give an table now here ready after that i should go ahead with column name at the rate column column i should give only column what is exact your table column name i should give to you name is equal to go to your table product underscore code this should be applicable for in all so here almost these are same team always recommended to use annotations if tomorrow if anyone want to change right you will not change your whole logic you will change only your annotation sometimes your database may change column names this business logic will be happened with these names but it is only mapping to your your okay, db to your model object so you will not have any impact with your business logic you, you don't need to modify your code you will modify only you will modify only to this one thing now done everything go for application dot properties hey i cannot uh, you know write uh, okay remember all these things i am writing this i am copying team whole this stuff i am copying i am pasting into here server dot fork is equal to 2025 and how to enable means i have derived is no need actually but if you want a okay, safe side these two okay, extra we should write it's usually to do not create any tables from okay, entities logs the okay sql team that's it now my development is done see how to test it is it okay if i deploy let's see start run as a okay, spring boot application what is the rc error cannot load mysql dot means i need to add mysql okay dependency team i need to add mysql jar okay dependency done run as spring boot application started means almost we are good team now how to start my okay how to test team i should go for this postman should go for this postman log in this postman and we can frame the uri and we can test it in but i am the tester i am the consumer so i need to enable the swagger team how you should enable your swagger in your in your project team how you will be okay, enabled swagger in your project team first you need to add swagger dependencies you need to add the swagger of okay, the dependencies what are the dependencies you have to add dependency you have to add two swagger okay, dependencies team one is group id other one is artifact id what is the group id swagger has implemented by spring fox is the one company what is fox it will it will do all the you know it will do all the uh, 
uh, okay um, more intelligent like you know spring fox hyphen boot hyphen boot hyphen what version you have 3.00 is to scan your whole to scan your whole source code but i want to okay, display ui how to okay, display ui spring fox swagger iphone ui is to work okay, dependencies you should add it these two okay, dependencies you should add io dot spring fox io dot spring fox spring fox swagger but once you will be added how your swagger will scan the your code and provided the uit class you should add the class you should add the class swagger configuration class team spring boot by default this configuration is not there you have to add this swagger configuration it is very simple only swagger config right if you observe right if any code change will be happened it auto auto restart team how beautiful it is okay instead of you run every time if any some code changes happened and compiled it, your dev tools is automatically okay, refreshing and okay, deploying application into server. Okay, observe team. I am not started anywhere. Okay, earlier I used to stop my application, I used to start. Now this time no need. Why? The dev tools for a for any okay, developer will do the code change. Dev tools will take care automatically compiled it and okay, deployed the application into your tomcat the moment you will save moment you will save here star is there see if i save stop if i save this see see how improve it is your developer performance okay instead of every time you will start and stop the moment you will modify any your code and save it it will automatically re compile whole and packaging jar and deployed into your tomcat or embedded tomcat team that is the advantage of this okay, dev tools team it will improve your application your okay, developer performance team okay, developer okay, okay, productivity team public bucket api return new Bucket document type which version you are using swagger to dot select dot APIs. It is a that's why you have to attend morning batch. It is using your uh, functional interface team. Please attend the morning batch. It is a free classes. No one is stopping you. JDK 8. So it is using predicate interface. You will get complete knowledge on your JDK 8 team. See? Please. So it is your functional interfaces. Request. Handler. selector dot i am this package i'm okay i'm informing please scan my package see my source code is okay, available here please scan this package team box Touch dot parts of slash v1 
Starkey. See, it will be restarted every time. Dot. Can we give any path? First dot any. Dot build team. That's it. We will take care to scan the code which you see it is okay. automatically it will add everything. I am not doing anything. If any error is there, spring documentation, this docket is not there, it is giving error. No class found error. Whenever you got this issue team with the latest version you are getting this issue, okay, latest version we are getting this issue, I think we should add one entry in the properties file. Whenever you got this one, this latest version you are getting this issue. How to add spring dot mbc dot path match dot matching strategy is equal to any path and to path matcher now it should not come see every change okay, it will take care every change it will take care and underscore path matcher now we'll see still it is errors spring dot mvc dot path dot matching strategy what is the class spring dot spring fox documentation class not found Not Class not found. One second. We will start and stop. MVN clean install. I did this. Any path match pattern. MVN install. No, no, Swagger will not comes with boots or we have to add a okay, express explicitly. If it is Swagger will come boot, then no need to add a okay, version also. No, Swagger is not giving along with boot. That's why I'm adding these versions. If you are adding version of okay, express explicitly means that it is not coming from the boot. If it is, if, if you are adding okay, okay explicit means that is not coming from the boot, sir. How to enable this string boot application? Looks like all good now. All good. See how to access this swagger. TP colon local host what is my port number here 2025 slash swagger iphone ui slash swagger iphone ui index dot 
HTML. See, you got this swagger. This swagger documentation I can share it to anyone. It may be a Paytm, it may be a GPay, it may, whoever is there. They don't need my technologies. They don't need how I am writing the code and all. I will give this documentation to them. By seeing the documentation, what this phone pay guy will do, phone pay guy will write the code in Java. PHP guy will write the code in PHP. Understood here. Hope you are able to following. Understood, sir. Now here see. How to do this one swagger now? Get one. I can test not only from postman, I can test from here. Get. What is the content type? JSON. Hit. Hit. It is my response. Why? Is, is there any error? No error. Why response will not come? Get all products I want. Get all products I want. V1, I give you a product. Go to my code. What happened? It is. Product name is wrong. Sorry, sir. Table product is wrong. Oh, that you should name different. Okay, error, right? During my startup, it should give error, right? Okay, show me, show me. What is that, sir? Go to this okay, repository product. Okay, yeah, tell me. Oh, I did not give any table name, sir, here. If I did not give any table name, how it will treat it? Column name is also wrong. My table name is correct. Column name. Sorry, sir. Column spelling is okay, wrong. Okay, which column name? Column. Product, product. PR. PRO D C 15 line. Uh, at line number 15. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Good. Okay, looks like all are alert. I thought people are exhausted. Okay, good. Yeah. But anything that still? See if you observe here, okay, dev tools automatically it will load it. Now let's see. Get all products I want. It is not coming. Even product. It is not showing any error also. Let me check again, rebuild again. Go to your product. Slash V1. That's fine. Get means get all products means get product means this post means you will pass this put means you will pass this delete means you will pass this oh I am not writing any code sir that is the problem sorry cut get product here I have product product Product, product, change to an integer. That's fine. New response entity. You need to pass the body and status HTTP status dot accepted or okay. Okay means like. 200 successful you same for
at all products. Here you would give list. product list okay. here it is a okay, empty right new response entity is there here product inserted yes. go to call here if you want you can pass in the go to call here product service save service dot create order only you don't return anything that's fine update that's fine delete id that's fine Updated, deleted. Okay, sir. Now we'll see. All done. Now, what happened? No, I should get an error at least. Oh, I did not start. Huh? Okay. Run as MVN install. Yeah, yeah, good, Mahesh. Super dedication team. Awesome. If you will be like that, it, okay, it is good. Now go to here. That's fine. Now what happened? We started right. I can test it from my swagger. I'm starting my Spring Boot application. Started team. Let's see. Let's see. See, I got all my products or not. Now, if I give this swagger, if I give this swagger, I will execute it. It will give all the products in DB. How many two only is there? I want only one product ID. I want only one product ID. Swagger. See, by seeing the swagger, do you feel uh, your provider is implemented Java, dotted or PHP team? Can you tell anyone? By seeing this okay rich ui can you tell okay anyone is using java dot or php team no they cannot tell so give this swagger documentation to whoever you want phone pay g pay whoever you want my goal is my request should be in this format if it is post one see how to frame the post Okay, description, query, why it is post create order. Create order, why is in the form of yeah, my mistake team. Here is create order, my mistake. I'm sorry. If it is create order, is at the rate request to body, it is.
plus to at the rate request body it is update also at the rate request to body it is good sir now we'll see swagger structure would be why it is coming it is not a params it is an object let's see we'll go back and we'll we'll come again it is not a get right create means it is a post create means it is a post this annotation will take care to convert java object into json to java object if you want to prove internally you have jackson jars also will be there this jackson jars will take care of everything see you don't need to worry about at all this jackson jars will take care of team everything okay now see now what happened team go to swagger post why post again in this format okay let's see description name mobile good product price okay, iphone 30 the code ip001 product id 444 quantity i want one execute it super unsupported media type unsupported media content type slash class is not supported no problem we will 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 fix it go to our code product controller produces application slash json consumes application slash json what is the problem here produces instead of we that's what too much dev tools here if i started comma also it is trying to restart Media type dot media type application slash json no need actually because it is is equivalent to this it will take care automatically it will take care automatically consumes is the attribute consumes problem what is there here name integer and all okay let's see restart would be happened because of okay dev tools restart automatically it would be happened 415 unsupported media type content type it is taking not json team where is that it is a response type where is the request type that's what request is not coming as a form data request it should come as a object method request method is equal to request to method dot oh is it request method i should give or http method team http sorry team http dot post because it is distributed if it is a like mvc you should go for one second what happened here convert from http method to request method what is the argument here method request method only okay i don't give anything team to avoid all these problems let us see the shortcut is at the rate 
post mapping as product let's see why it is happening at the rate request to body let's see team now how it works post still it is coming like this only what is happening this one second team i am stopping here post means i want to body data team why it is coming as a params i am thinking post to mapping create order request to body request to body it should work with this request to body at the right request to body which annotation this request to body why this request to body is not coming request to body should be declared right maybe that is the problem request to body should be available from this annotation yeah, I did a wrong request to body. You should use this one. That is the problem. Control shift K. I give swagger request to body. It is wrong. That's what I should give our own request to body. Spring request to body. 100% it should work. This is basic one. Draw type reference is generic. What happened? Response is raw type. Generic response time should be parameterized. Where, sir? Sorry. Add of request body at the rate machine. Response right are talking about okay. Sir, at the rate request body is there. Only request body you have written. Right, sir. Yeah, okay, 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 got it. Yeah, good. Yeah, good. Yeah, 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 okay, right, okay, everything. Okay team so it will restart automatically go to here go to here swagger oh, it is started right now okay it will start again Run as Spring Boot application. Now it should work. It should work. Post C, how it is there. This is what I am expecting. Body, right? Okay, request to body. The description. Good product name iphone one three price maybe eighty thousand product code ip double zero two or one three product id four 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 quantity one that's all go here earlier only two view table data view data why oh, it is not coming 
refresh, refresh. Any error here? Excellent. Any error here? CJ connection MySQL the data instruction data too long of this column underscore production at row one. I got it. This data too long at row one. It is the where is the product ID? Go for your swagger. Product ID oh, too long. Let's see. Product ID. No, no. Product to code, right? ID. Go for here. Product to code. It is error. PP13 code. Which is okay, I think. Exception. Could not executed exception data integrity violation exception product code go to your code product code it is a string right why it is showing nonsense it is string I understood what is the issue let me try again you got the same issue yes it is okay inserted you can set the data into production i might give size here very less size team that's why see it is only three size i okay i would give that's why it is giving error now if you go your db refresh it got it understood team everything is good team nothing here so you know what is swagger right if any interviews are asking how you are provide your apis to your clients means we are developing swagger swagger is in the form of json or yaml this is the json or yaml contract first approach last contract first means first you will develop the swagger then you will write the code last means first to write the code then you will get it the swagger go to the google editor swagger you can get it our convert yaml okay see our project swagger if any mistakes are there you would fix it here okay see it is our our cities you can edit whatever you want it will be okay reflected into here understood sir so this is what how to develop a rest api how to implement this swagger now shall we start how to call this one from angular sir is it okay shall we start how to this from angular see i generated this angular team generated the you no know, okay created the angular project team ng new product details once it is creating you will start this angular you will get default but now app component dot html team title this is available team here now means whatever app component will give output right that app component output is okay displaying here this app component result whole will be available in where app root app root will be available in where index.html in angular how many components you will develop doesn't matter directly indirectly all component response will be available in where index.html index.html is equal to, is equal to group of all index.html is equal to, index.html is equal to, group of group of all the all the component 
HTML. Why Angular is a single page HTML only? If you want to develop a page, one HTML file is required. Angular is one HTML only. That is got index.html. Even you have 100 components are there. All 100 components will be there. Only of one HTML. That HTML is called index.html. Understood? Now here see how to do here. Please concentrate on how to do it here. Now it is a predefined team. It is a root component. It is a root component. We should not share by default component is a root component. That root component is called app component. Now according to my requirement, I want my own project team. ng ng how to generate the component how to generate the component in angular team how to generate the component in angular you can do so many ways ng component something ng generate component product component i want ng generate product c here i got a product component c a product component will have product dot html and everything so if you generate the component every component will have html css how the component would be start selector it is a big one team I could not explain now. I am generating service ng service where you want generate this service team ng service okay generate the product service generate the product slash product slash ngs i want to generate the services under where this product team ng generate product i want to generate per product product service let's see how to generate the component how to generate the service team yes service also came here now i should start my coding first how to write the start my component coding at the rate component to declaring add to declaring it as component go for my service how to write this service service is used to to communicate in with the backend system so here how to communicate with the backend system how to represent service it is injectable means if okay, anyone can use this one what should i do here here okay here okay, syntax is a different team http using http client using http client http client is not coming here using http client we should generate this angular team we should communicate in with our public http client here it should come http client one second how to import this http client import http client <coughs> m at the rate angular common angular common http here you are using okay http client team now i am writing one method public get all products it is a angular okay typescript okay reverse team okay typescript is okay derived from uh okay, derived from dot net so there okay 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 syntaxes would be a different team observable 
any kind of okay, response I will allow. How to make your okay, REST API calls? Return, return team, this dot, this dot HTTP, return, this dot HTTP dot, it is public observable colon any. You have to import this observable. So it is not coming. Observable is, is available in RxJS package. It is, it is available, right? Observable. Any kind of response. It may be XML, text or whatever it. This dot HTTP get method. Yeah, it is coming. Public void get One second. Okay. Just please wait. The problem. Public get all products. Colon observable any return this dot http dot get off where is your rest api okay endpoint url for all get all products it is product id i want all products i got all the products copy this endpoint how to write call your angular colon this one done comma comma get method comma how you want method is okay only get method t only get to method return is it okay done HTTP dot get to method is it okay you are calling your get to method get to method is okay responsible to provide everything that's fine now you got the response you are passing only get to method team you are not passing anything other than this get to method now that should be fine okay team let's see if any okay syntaxes are there we'll see what are the get operations are there get uri others are all optional that's fine go to this controller how to call this product controller hey we are okay depending on our product here public service we are how in our spring okay dependency in in, in injection same team here how in our spring okay dependency injection here you are doing same product service oh two names came here service product service service name is okay now you are applying your dependency injection here that's fine now whenever you applied here a dependency injection how to call ng init this dot service i am calling to my get all products i want to work okay, subscribe to my service response response this dot i want to okay, declare one okay, response object here public product response colon any team the angular code team i'm sorry if you are not getting but i'm trying to okay, explain is equal to whatever okay, response will come from my back end i'm using team this response this response at least it should be same now here i am calling get all products it is what is the method here okay, subscribe subscribe is you can give okay, any name here okay, response is a name using arrow i am calling this arrow i got the okay, response here what is the wrong in it get all products observable any response did you find me in a response no no need to anywhere give this a response here this dot product okay response is equal to a response team this is declared here response or you should give result or for it result this is the problem here response team 
so now you got okay everything from here i want to close this here close get all products subscribe we want to open this okay, subscribe you are giving me okay that's fine inside of the okay, subscribe you are making your response call here you are doing team similarly are we doing are we doing team here no all all good now okay nothing is uh, okay issues as of now all good let us see team so your product is calling to service service will give okay response that response would be go to where in this product dot okay, html inside of the product dot okay, html what you will do here you know simple team i am going to write in simple way i am not going to write all first i am printing whether it is okay response will be coming or not how to print how to print the whole your okay, response is okay, available in where here go to here go to here how to convert it is object how to convert using pipe symbol convert it into json let's see whether it is coming or not if it is coming okay if it is not coming go to i am not using you know um, any styles and all team simple i am doing ng if if means if product okay response data is there is there here table row i'm using simple style color dot black i'm using font weight simple team i'm not using any big big one block font font iphone weight colon bold team anything you can give it's not a problem it's a table row now inside of this so many tds will come td what this td is product id product code product name product description and all product id code name price quantity image url description image url is not there so no need to. product name product code what is the price how many quantities they want description done i am closing my tr in in one single row these many one single row all this are uh, you know one single column don't close here your row your row will be closed here your row will be closed here here done inside of the table it is a if condition if data is there created the table okay headings now another tr will look represent star ng for let product of product response how in our for each loop in our angular let to product of this one okay product response it will look iterated team how many okay records are there it will look iterate now now what will do td dollar dollar product to dot here is our swagger response product id i am displaying all my de okay, details in okay angular team c3 6 product id using swagger product to code using swagger only angular guy is writing the code i don't know how my service is working or not product name quantity price description price description. 
now here see now if you run the application so now it is your product component you need to provide your product component to here so you are you are including your product to component 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 included to your index.html let's see it go for your app module if any errors will be there let's see in this serve errors make may come because okay, HTTP client is one module we have to okay, registered okay, HTTP client module into your app module let's see oh compiled successful good successfully generation all good go to your angular code 4200 nothing would happen here angular development is listening this fire one check your browser is i can able to know here okay inspect view source what is the error error is product service http client i no providers for okay, http client good where i should give this providers here i have to give here http client browser module comma http client module now it should work now three issues yeah product works yeah i expected see is blocked cars issue policy team cars issue policy how you should fix it go for our rest apis cars issue at the rate cross origin see okay you will see okay, everything in the browser console they are trying to call our api network they are trying to call our api but they got a okay, error response what is response if you go console they are getting cars issue cars issue means if you are accessing from one ip with a different port number my my api are okay, unable to okay, access here now okay, it should access api are okay, unable to okay, access now i updated this go to here see above one is all my json now it is my my table format my table i should give some of okay, the decoration team it to high to if will increase all 100 percent it should come i don't want to waste our uh, you know valuable time team understood team if i comment in this okay, it won't come what i did go for your angular product component dot html i am displaying here if i stop this that won't come whatever okay, response will coming from my okay, rest api i am checking if the data is present then only this will be this row will displayed if data is present this row would be displayed and start next row okay iterate this it is like our ng for angular for loop it is like our for each loop for product colon product response how many of the records are there iterate each and every object okay, display the object into here that's it right that's it this is what how the spring boot with angular integrations team simple team code is simple but you should know basic knowledge and typescript basic angular application you know you can understand easily team. see this time right i can't spend more on angular hope okay are you clear team deployment sir deployment sorry sir okay deployment is this only so if you how you deploy 
no 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 it is a okay, different one see it is a okay, live server see the movement whenever you will give ng servo okay Okay. How you are right click on it in your IDE Tomcat server, right? It yeah. will deploy your Angular application into one uh, one of one of embedded server which is available in our Angular. So okay. Angular, how your palm.xml is there, Angular package.json. All required JavaScript libraries okay, dependency okay, you should write one of the javascript library okay, dependency will have this live server that live server will take care see deployed your application angular live development server is listening this port number you can open this url understood sir so if you give ng serve it would do deployment build and okay, deployment sir uh, in single server, right? Uh, Tomcat and uh, SB Spring Boot application and uh, Angular. No, both are available in okay, different server. Spring Boot is in okay, different, okay, Tomcat, Angular is in okay, Angular is in okay, Apache server, sir. Yeah. Apache. Oh, okay, sir. Thanks. So this one you cannot plug in for Jenkins, right? No, Jenkins also you can do. Okay, can do. Okay, okay, sir. Thanks. Everything can do. This is also you can build as a one jar. You can do okay, everything you can do Jenkins. Okay, sir. Yeah. Okay, next one. How to deploy our application into how to okay, okay, dockerize our application team. How to dockerize this crisp this okay, okay Spring Boot application is very very important. Sir, first we, we should know what is the Docker, then we should know within less time team i would explain what is this docker and all team docker is why this famous in market team docker has came with advantage with two things one is to resolve environments issues second one is to save cost first we will see team what is your environment in our real time, we have dev environment, test environment, and production environment team. Your application is working in dev, and your application is not working in test. Application is working in dev, and your application is not working in okay, test environment. So what happened? Earlier, how you are doing team? You have a okay, dev environment, you have a okay, test environment, you have a prod. Hey, your application is working fine here. Okay, dev environment. Whereas here, your application is not working. Whereas here, your app is not working. The problem is earlier, you are manually, you are deploying your code. While deploying manually, once you are okay, dev environment, your application is up and running, you will move to QE environment. You will move to QE environment. QE environment, your application may or may not. So, if here it is working, now you should move into prod environment. This is one way. Next one is, let us assume that run your application 1 GB RAM four cpu core is required but unfortunately safer side your okay, infrastructure took 10 gp so and uh, 8 cpu unfortunately then what happened you know even though you are see even though you are taking all these okay, resources so you will okay, deploy into your okay, dev environment team. You allocated your application so on some memory. Here, this whole dev environment is 8 GB, 10 GB. It's 
CPU. Please okay, try to okay, understand. So you, you have deployed okay, 10 applications. Application 1, application Each application on 1 GB. Unfortunately, it is taking 0 0.5 GB only. But remaining 0 0.5 GB, even though you are not, even though you are not using, but that 0 0.5 GB will be wasted only. I am telling you, okay, example. But because of this, your client will pay more cost to the your infrastructure. Your client will pay more cost, you know, more billing on your okay, infrastructure. Even though he is not using, on, still, even though he is not using, still, he is paying to the cost to team. Now, with this Docker, what happened, you know? With this Docker, first problem is, hey, I don't want to deploy your application, your server at once. Docker, what it will do? Inside of the Docker, your application code is there. Your software is there. All your softwares are there. Your configuration is there. Everything is there okay, inside of this Docker. They will prepare as an image. Image means really image. Can you do okay, anything with this image? You can't do. You can't any uh, okay, tamper. Okay, you can't any... okay. Um, get the okay, any okay, tampering if this okay, image what this okay, docker will do hey all these okay, developers don't deploy okay. okay earlier what happened your server will be okay, installed like, separately and your code will be okay, installed okay, deployed okay, separately now whatever you want I will prepare everything in okay, everything in one file one file if it is spring boot okay embedded if it is not spring boot okay 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 what happened you know we need to write one docker file if it is spring boot okay if it is not spring boot if it is not spring boot okay what happened here you know these guys i need one i need one jdk version i need tomcat i need tomcat configuration i need my project source code everything will be everything will be bundled into everything will be bundled into one image everything will be packaging this packaging is called okay image now okay what i will do I will deploy this image here, here, here. You don't have any issue because earlier you are you are separately installing Tomcat. Some configuration is missing. So many configuration of setup is there. Okay, sometimes your configuration would be miss team. Okay, definitely it would be miss. Now, okay, it's not like that. Now you can't miss anything here. Why you can't miss anything here? So, it is a okay, image. Once you will be in packaging. See, Docker means you will be packaging what you want. You will be packaging what you want to team. Everything, whatever you want, okay, everything will be available in our Docker file team. Docker file, either okay, DevOps team or developers. It depends. Okay, either one will prepare team. See, what this docker will do this image will be packaged deploy your docker image into here deploy your docker image into here deploy your docker image into here how to run the docker docker run image there is no issues will come your work environment wise why same image will be deployed into here why same image will be okay, deployed into here Docker run image, Docker run image, Docker run image, Docker run image team. You okay, understood team? Now, okay, let us see. Second one is, how much memory is, is required? Only that much it will take. Remaining, remaining it will be, leave it for other, okay, other applications team. It's not like uh, memory wise, it's not like a fixed team. It's required for only 0.5 GB. Yes, it will take. Okay, remaining it will be 
leave it for other okay, other applications team how much cost it will be saving that's why if you see in google you want to jdk8 dar you want jdk8 docker you want every software every software the corresponding zip file is there and also docker is there why if you use docker it will you know it will the resources you know okay effectively it will be used if you use docker resources okay effectively it will be used without a docker it will be fixed how much will be allocated that much only it will be happened if you use docker the resources i am not talking about after all our simple application if you go your big big clients like your hdfc bank city bank they have thousands thousands of microsystem services are there each and every microsystem service may take you know 0.5 gb extra thousand means it will be like around 100 gb 200 gb extra every day or every month they are paying in terms of crores to the okay, infrastructure team see only two reasons of this docker one is environment issues will be resolved other one is cost saving cost saving team cost saving so what we'll do developer write the source code and prepare the docker file in real time depends upon uh, company if it is small company uh, developers will write if it is standard devops team will write if you provide this source code of your git repo first one build the image docker how to build the image using the command is called docker build image file name what file you want you should give second one in real time this images are stored in some repositories images are stored into some repositories the repositories may be okay repositories may be a docker hub here you, you may have okay docker hub if it is okay aws or docker hub if it is okay aws okay, okay ec2 there are many docker registries or repos it will stores the images docker images docker hub it is ec ec ecr elastic container registry if you go for okay, aws if you go for azure uh, ak ak azure cluster registry or something thing i'm not remembering azure what will be happened you know first developer will prepare the docker file and build the image okay deploy the image now here now here okay i will be using okay docker i will be using here okay docker hub team uh, i'm not using jenkins so many okay plugins are required now i'm doing okay directly team i'm able to log into my docker you can also get registered with your email id see here are all our previous real time project docker images but i can do it now see here we have so many all the predefined images team here all the predefined okay, images here here we have predefined images or see you want jdk8 image see so many endors jdk8 okay images are there how to run the image if you go here see they will provide clearly pull the image from docker registry how to pull all will okay discuss now so what is our job is build the docker image login into docker login docker using docker login username and password password now what it will do it will connect to dockerhub.com and will connect to dockerhub.com third one push the image into into docker hub how to push the image docker image name fourth one done so your job is done once you are able to push what i will do i will install my okay, aws okay, ec2 i will log in into okay, aws i will take one pm ec2 missing login into okay, aws ec2 means 
take one virtual machine i no need to you can install any software so why no need to install i need only okay install docker software here why no need to install okay, any software what are the softwares are required everything you have provided in this docker file you don't need to install any software if you run the image that docker file will take care to install all the required softwares and okay, execute your application that is the beauty of your docker you should not give anything you no need to install any softwares everything is docker what is third one third one pull the image before i pull i should log in into docker connect to, to docker hub that means log in into log into docker hub once you will be log in you need to pull the image get the image how to get the image docker pull image name. you got the image now run the image that's it team run the image docker that's it how simple it is shall we start team so, sir did you understand the concept no that is wrong you cannot use dev environment mysql prod are you doing amirpet project no in real time you should use same one if, if that is the case how can you test in your uh, okay non prod how can you test in your okay dev one test no that is wrong even software version also it should not change the run software version of whatever prod version is there same version okay you should use here okay sir okay did you understand sir sir got it concept of okay docker okay everyone now what i will do spring boot docker is easy team i believe we did any one of docker if not yeah, only this file team i am copying this file uh, don't worry don't have too many just a simple one simple what is the first line you know download open jdk image from the docker hub port number you can give whatever it copy target where is your code is available here product service jar copy your code from your target folder too because it is not permanent right your code from target folder to here so that you are decouple from your source code to other file how to run this other file java iphone jar this one done that's it team this simple one okay, nothing is there to write more on this okay docker how to write a docker file you should know here if it is spring boot application my spring boot application okay, does not required for any tomcat and all it is simple if your project is required tomcat if your project is required any other databases what are the softwares are required all you should from download jdk from download tomcat from download database from down whatever you want you should write all the scripts here unfortunately advantage with the spring boot is everything will be given no need to do all this stuff understood sir now i am going to my location of cmd looks like uh, we have cmd cd d cdd cls so you have docker in your city it is there latest version Sir, don't ask me how to install this. We have a separate session in upcoming two days workshop. Prepare Docker, we'll see in depth. Docker, Docker, what we'll do? Build image, Docker build image, Docker build image, Docker build hyphen T. You, what is your image name? You can give anything your image name. Srinivas18 slash you can give your product service sir it is my okay, image name what happened you know i am giving dot by default your docker file will be looks for in this folder you have docker file is available or not if it is available it will read it will take all this okay, instructions 
it will prepare as a image it will prepare as a image see you can see how many okay images are there if you want you can see it is see here please please it is connecting into your docker hub to getting this uh, okay image what image see this open jdk image it is very okay interesting sir done docker images see you got the okay image docker images means you got the okay image team docker images means you got the okay image team once you got the image now what we will do how to push i want image docker login iphone u iphone u it was one eight it is a username it will be asking password i give my password it is able to connect to login okay succeed till now this product one is not there here you can verify project one is not there here okay product one is not there here how to push docker push docker push what is my image name this image name this will be taken care by actual level jenkins push see it is super it is pushing now see sir see 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 I am refreshing my product details will be coming or not here my product details is coming or not still not at came still not at come now it's it should come now see I got this sir are you good sir with this now what I should go I should go to my AWS AWS login I will take one EC2 instance team it is a cloud team team upcoming class if you are now in future if you are interested you will take like a definitely this docker and all in-depth team whole you cannot do in two days right team yeah now i will take one of the ec token instance team i will deploy my docker into here launch a virtual mission it's kind of okay remote server it's kind of a okay, remote server you, you you can take either one team i am taking this amazon linux free tire okay either one you can take amazon linux team or you can take okay red dot either one is okay for, for me review launch launch the so you know I don't know whether what keys it is if it is there okay this process and all we have AWS okay authentication is required to do the authentication looks like I clean up everything yeah AWS search a high RW RWP new PM I have RWP generated I have I have looks like let's see i will be using new rwp rsa is there three are there i have choose an existing jenkins reno which one is what i know choose an existing pair i don't need team I am going with the new one. Key pair name. Spring Boot. Download this. I will explain to him how to see. You have downloaded private key. Before you can continue, store it in secure and accessible location. You will not able to download this again. No problem. I am storing here. I am storing here. AWS search. AWS search team. 
now go to here you got the you got the one key now launch instance i should it is a one key i should generate dot pp key how putty gen putty gen generate sorry pigeon putty oh god no one second load an okay, existing private key which is available here dot all files dot pm save public key save public key or save private key yes save private key spring boot private key now you can log in with this application team your vm is available like up and running your vm see your vm is okay running team you want to see your vm status your vm is up and running it is okay running team what is your vm okay ip address this one team your vm ip address team your vm ip address team now i am going to this putty using your ip address ip address ssh authentication team no one can see now here okay anyone can't able to access team you have to give a authentication aws search authentication go to here accept ec2 user ec2 user yes you are able to connect change settings color Mm, default background modify is white foreground modify blue good what is appearance change 16 good good color is not changing team color okay cursor color ansible default color default bold background default color white why it is not applying okay leave it default foreground okay team. no problem now here see what is available here now i need to install the docker team here I need to install okay, Docker, which is what mission it is? Linux mission it is. How to install Docker in Linux? How to install Docker in Linux? Simple command it will give sudo docker linux installation command docker linux install command sudo docker one command is 13 how to install not in ubuntu not in ubuntu team hmm. sudo apt get update it is 
sudo apt installation docker no need of simple command docker yeah this one team sudo curl no 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 docker run all over it for service restart no need all docker install in ec2 that's it it would give this documentation guy only will give sudo m update the installation packages on your machine no need all are updated only sudo m installed docker team is this okay yes docker would be installed after you need to start the docker team how to start the docker sudo docker start i would give this commands team docker install on ec2 linux go is docker started docker started sudo m ok installed docker so one is you want to update your installation of your packages no need this one this is why your linux long back okay you have okay installed now you want to upgrade means you should go for m this m is varied from linux flavors team now i got the docker no need java nothing what is docker here version good docker login how i did login team here docker i did the login here connect to my okay, docker hub that means oh i did not use any commands here Docker login iPhone you I would give all this comment team first you should build the image command next you should login see Docker version okay login how to login your login once okay image is done how to verify docker images same i can use team here password now access denied got permission denied while connecting to docker socket go to your ensure that docker diamond after ensuring to run the following command created uh, user sudo enabled docker yes now i will do what permission denied while connecting to the docker domain socket add the ec2 user a 
about and log back again pick up the new docker group permissions got permission denied trying into docker connect this will change every time team one second how to fix docker got permissions sudo change mode that's it i did some permission changes team if you will get error you have to apply this one while you are logging into here kwl here if any error will come you should give read write full access team done now how to pull the key images docker Pull. What is my command team okay, image name? What is my image name here? This is my image name. Editing. Now I got it image. How to pull the image? How to push the image? All these commands team. Now, how to run the image? Here also you have Docker of images. Docker, how to run? Run. Here is your image. This is your image. Done. Default profile. Expected error. Why can anyone guess team? It is looking for a database in this VM. The database is not there. Okay, tables are not there. That's why it is giving error. Okay, understood team. I know this error will come. That's why shall we do quickly for other API team, other services, you will get okay practice also. Okay, is it okay team? Okay, shall we do okay other one team okay without okay database okay spring boot one okay okay you will get okay practice also team see now i got my simple spring boot web boot demo nothing is there here i have a properties file and all okay simple it is how to do okay docker with this one team Please, those who are not uh, okay, confusing earlier, it is good. I am doing again for you. You need to write first Docker file team. Copy, paste, open the Docker file. It is my target right here. Make sure this will have Spring Boot Maven plugins, otherwise it will give error. Wherever is there, should add. Wherever it is there, we should add. Wherever it is there, we should add. Okay team, now done. What is our first step? Step team. I'm going to write okay step by steps. Docker command team. First command is Docker version. Docker version. Second one team. First one is a okay, Docker version team done. 
Okay, second one team. Can anyone tell okay, second one? Can anyone tell team? Okay, second one. How to prepare the image? Docker build hyphen t scene was 18. My user this of image name. What is my image name? Spring Boot demo. Spring Boot web hyphen demo. Start. Whenever this statement would be executed. Docker images. Build the image. Third one. Docker okay, images. Here we'll get list of okay, images. Docker okay, images team here. I need to log in. Docker login. iPhone U. One HD. Next one is Docker login. Docker login. iPhone U. Username one eight. You will ask password. Login succeed. Docker push. What is your image name? Spring Boot demo. Push team. One Docker push is image name. Yeah. Once your image will be pushing, clear the screen. Not here, team. Go to your Docker hub, push image. Already I am connected to Docker in our okay, AWS. Yes, no. Docker. My image name. This is my image name. Dante. Docker images. Docker run. Run the image. Done. Your Spring Boot application would start without having any issues. Oh, you are using Jetty here? No. See, team, your Spring Boot application would be started, team. Is there somewhere what is the port number and all you have? Started this. What is the port number? It should be their team here. Go to here. 2022. No, you will go to your browser. Http colon local host colon 2022 slash. Oh, here okay, it will give you okay, error. What is the error? I will explain. It started right. Yeah. What is the error? I will explain. You are trying to give hello world, it will give error. Why your AWS is stopping this outside ports? 
you need to inform me what of the AWS please enable please allow my port how to inform go to your VM here is your VM my VM is installed into Mumbai uh, data center team I will explain in you know, AWS cloud all these things AWS cloud you know AWS will discuss team I'll go for it. VM go for this mm, next one Go for this outbound properties. Okay, networking. Networking. You need to provide this uh, security. Security groups. Not security. Uh, one second. Ah, outbound rules. Okay, inbound rules and outbound rules team outbound rules inbound rules why it is not coming to me i think in security group also sir yeah it, this is oh, okay i will click on this security group yes edit uh, inbound it. rules yeah yeah edit inbound rules i should add a new one Or you can edit your okay, existing one also is not a problem add new one custom tcp port number is 2022 ip means in ip you can give save rules now you will try you are informing to your aws ec2 Allowing IP address is called 2022. Go for outbound. It is a Spring Boot application only, right? It is a jar only, right? Yes. Okay, fine. Go for your uh, one second. Hmm. Go for your uh, one second outbound. Edit outbound rules. Add rule. You are informing that please uh, allow so and so port number here. Save these changes. Let's see. Another way we will stop. How to run Docker? Docker run iPhone P. iPhone P syntax. Docker run iPhone P. iPhone P eight zero eight zero. One second. Docker run. Iphone P two zero twenty two twenty two. Let me explain. Start. It should work, sir. Deployment and okay, everything is done. 
deployment and everything is done what is there here hello world hello world app is there nothing is there here packaging is jar only everything your application spring boot app also is started are working nothing is required 2022 because your server dot port number is 2023 team it is but how spring boot will start uh, 2022 copy all go to here get started on 2022 get started on 2022 one second team maybe this jar build right that was or that time 2022 let me explain again should work team because i did everything go to aws aws also we did same stuff all it should accept to 2022 go for inbound inbound also it should access 2022 team but make sure our application I should build again I should stop everything I am started my application in my local what is the port number run as spring boot application two zero two three team it is coming jt or whoever it is 2023 it is coming let me very quick build again i should give here screen oh did i add here any jasper dependency team that is the problem team okay let's see i would stop this jt I would okay, enable Tomcat only. I want to show you right. Dot done. Everything is done. What is the problem? Spring Boot app. Install. Anyhow, meanwhile you got all these commands hands on right. Okay, no problem. run as spring boot application oh my bad team i am really sorry team i should give my ip address not give local host okay anyhow it is okay remote right i am sorry i am sorry i am sorry i should give my ip address not local host what is here my ip address i'm sorry team somewhere i have noted down my ip address here it is my ip address i should give my ip address sorry that's what i'm thinking 
वन सेकंड भी वन सेकंड भी द क्वेश्चन इज टू स्टार्ट लोअरल ओके नहीं हाउ विल सी एनी हाउ वी स्टार्टेड राइट अगेन फ्रेशली आई विल स्टार्ट टू जीरो टू थ्री इज ऑलरेडी इन यूज फर्स्ट आई विल रन इन माई लोकल इफ इट इज वर्किंग राइट अगेन आई एम रनिंग ऑल दिस कमेंट्स टीम इट वुड बी अल्पफुल टू यू टीम वॉट आर द कमेंट्स सी एल एस डाकर बिल्ड दिस टाइम आई फन क्यू आई फन वी वन ओके वर्षन वन I have already entered team. Directly, I am trying to this image because my connectivity is already there. If I close this, my connectivity will gone. Meanwhile, I should go here. My okay, security groups. I should update. Okay, inbound. Edit. Now it's two zero two three. It's two zero two three now. Edit in bond rules. Done. IP address is this only. If you want for safe side, you can go and you can check team. Safe side. You can go and you can check EC2 dashboard instances. Oh God, Jenkins is running. From when? Should take this. It will take cost right. Both are same team. We'll see. I'm ready. Once it is my pushing is done. Demo V1. We are done. Docker pull. Pull. Where is the image? Docker pull image. Docker images, Docker. Is the run command syntax team? Docker run command. To run this Docker, uh, we should use Docker run. If on P two zero two three colon two zero two three space. My image. Tomcat started on. Now we'll see team. Go to here. Two zero two three. It should work team. Yeah, at least now you got a response earlier. This also was not. 
there now it should got something http colon local hello world hello world okay no what error did you get any error no no error two zero two three two zero two three slash As prop of okay, something. It is not four zero four. Four zero four. <laughs> It should come to him. I give hello world. It should give hello world dynamic output should come. It will go hello world JSP. It is not built. It is there here. It should execute. Everything is there here. Error while displaying the page unexpected page team. Let me unexpected page. At least now you got okay, okay, 404 means resource not found. I will go to my controller. Hello world. no okay, explicit url you are seeing fallback you are seeing fallback okay okay team let me explain i want to develop one simple okay, rest api give me one minute time team simple okay, rest api product service demo web very fast one team okay i don't take okay, too much of time demo what i would use here entity only these two controller i will not take too much of thing here paste it I don't need all this code team. Okay, simple one I want to give. No need for this. Okay, okay, back end also team. I want list of okay products. My product list I want. Okay, team. No need all this stuff team. New product list. Very fast I am writing team. One simple rest API team. Where was this all this culprit? No back end okay, nothing. Set product ID. Set product name. Set product price. Set product to code. Set quantity one. ID is an integer. Here we have other products. One.
head of product one head of product just i am giving one simple team don't want take too many things what is my entity no need all the entities and all we have other data we have data jpa no it is our rda put source generate to string yeah. simple one is done team okay nothing i am okay returning a okay product list go for here server dot port is equal to eight zero weights yeah. how to prepare the one first you need to verify is this okay working in your local or not if it is local working there it is not working now we'll see it it is simple okay, rest api cdp local host for it for it Slash product team. Slash one two three three. What is happening here? I don't need this one two three under. Run as Spring Boot application. It is get only team. Four eight simple one rest API. What is the problem? CTP colon lo local host product team yeah slash v1 slash product it is global right now got it team. so very quickly i want to do this as a docker team copy paste run as mvn install go to this docker file refresh refresh team take this docker file team Docker done team all are done. I want to go to here. This is also session. No. We want to close this session now. Okay, let's see. Go to this Docker Hub team. Clear. CLS. CD. How to do? Clear team. Docker. Build. 
product service Rifle V1 done. Meanwhile, I will start this one thing. Now you will go for Docker images. Now you should already log in team. No need. Directly you can push the image. Meanwhile, I will open this. What is the IP address? I am connecting into my AWS SSH authentication team. I should give my Spring Boot private key is my authentication. Open. EC2 iPhone user. Change settings color settings behavior colors sir appearance change as a 20 okay now docker is already available docker login iphone u i'm connecting into docker Docker pull. Here is my image name. Here is my image name. Team half an hour. It may be delay team, but no problem. Team. Here is my image name. Docker images. Product demo v1 is there done so now docker run iphon p here your application port it is your docker port run the image run the image Now I should go my AWS. Where is my security of instances? I should change the my inbound and outbound to 4 H D. Change my okay, inbound edit for it. So here how you are working same syntax team. I should change okay, instead of my local host, I should give to whom my AWS. This is what team, how it executed. Earlier, maybe some okay, web book configuration. Got it, team. Okay, you can access team. Since I'm okay, I'm okay, deploying into okay, AWS. I'm sharing the link. You can access from your browser also because it is not in my local, it is available in where AWS cloud. It is okay, available in where okay, AWS code. Can anyone okay, check and okay, confirm team? Anyone can access this. It is even now available in cloud team. Yeah. Until I will stop that VM. Until I will stop that VM. It will be their team. How much it is there? Okay, AWS team will uh, giving charge to me team. Understood team. So this is what how this 
Docker AWS is good team. Any questions team? I have provided all team. All team. Docker, how to pull the image? Pull the image. Everything. Got a team. A understood team or any questions team? Understood team or any questions team, please. If you are okay, we'll start immediately. We'll go for okay, Redis Cache team. Redis Cache and Kafka in two. These are the main or their team. Anyhow, we'll start. Team Hope, we are okay. Everything we are covering team. We are not missing anything. We are doing now Spring Boot okay, Redis Cache. Next we will go for Kafka and then we will go for parallel calls. We did okay, dev tools, we did profiles. Logging also will be easy. Okay, I would explain to you. Okay. Hope all are good team. Okay, now what is this? Team okay, instead of okay, I would start what is docker what is angular means i would have completed okay, this time team but i am okay, explaining very clear in slow team okay team now here see very very important now spring boot redis as implementation so okay, redis stands for redis stands for remote remote directory server team remote directory server generally in our application it is used it is used to to improve the improve the application performance means okay, there are two reasons two reasons we should use cache frameworks one is to see if to avoid to avoid two reasons to improve the cache framework to to reduce the backend calls number one a see if if more number of backend calls then then backend team will charge more team that means to reduce reduce the cost we should not call your db Number two, number two team. Now what is okay? Number two, instead of calling backend every time, get the data from the cache team, so that so that so that application performance would improve team. So that application performance team, application performance would okay, improve team. So that's why how to implement this okay, Redis in our C means how to okay, install this okay, Redis cache okay, server team. You should download in your real time. It will be in okay, AWS or okay, somewhere team. Download Redis cache. Okay, okay, it is in the it is edit team already. Don't worry. Softwares Redis. It is just a team in the form of dot msi or dot of okay, a zip folder team i did a okay, zip, zip team it is it is in zip file download really from https redis redis download really from okay, redis dot io redis dot io slash download team. redis dot io slash download team okay, understood team once it is downloaded, start, start, okay, Redis team, start Redis server. I, I would show you, you have your Spring Boot application and you have your Redis team. Sorry, you, here you have database. Here you have your okay, Redis. What happened? First time, first request will go for backend. If the request is same for n number of requests from second request onwards it will go for 
reduce how much response time it will be reduced it is your spring boot application it is your database it is request one will go for here from request to two onwards request to two request to three request to four all it will go to where here so how much from here to here network call and all it will take one second means from redis team it will take less than 0.5 seconds team how fast will get a response to time generally it is can see applicable only for uh, spring boot application only sir no 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 everywhere everywhere but Normal spring, spring boot also we can use yes yes okay okay can use okay sir okay no see team how this discussion now we are using how to implement caching here okay that's it sir you can use normal there you should write more code okay okay you should write more code okay to connect okay redis cache we need we need server url port number to connect okay redis cache we need server url and port number t how to do okay i will explain you need some redis cache annotation team one is at the rate enable caching it will inform to spring container that we need caching in our application second one team at the rate cacheable team the rate cacheable what it will do it is used to to fetch the or okay, retrieve the data from db to application and stored stored in this cache first time go to back end second time you know first time get the okay, data from the cache and store into okay, redis team from okay, second time okay it won't go to the rate cache put it is used to you to update the data in this cache why there is any update of data in dvd fourth one team cache okay with okay, it means delete the okay, remove the data in cache why there is any removal of data in dvd that's it team generally it will use in our rest api get method rest api update method or rest api or insert method let's see i will start first this okay redis team redis cli okay it is cli i would start first redis server yeah started it is client like okay it is a client team it is like a client how to see you can articles and all okay can see team how to see all this you know how to see all are okay available or not now here whether the keys are stored or not we can see it from here okay, easily team it is the client let's see team i have application i would show you cache you can do it means you can do syntax how the what are the okay, redis commands are there how to verify you can give team you can set set string no how to set you know redis okay now how to get get string no. you got the okay, redis first okay, see key is here string no team value is here okay redis team see okay redis is in the form of map key value pair set city hyderabad okay get city hyderabad similarly i will show you in our okay, spring boot application how to set and all i will show you team here we imported spring boot app city generally 
in my in my database i have a table is called article run as mv install in my database i have a table is called article view table column name data type you can see data also view data article id title and category what is the problem here tesco is our bank previous project client so we will be working on a real time project team if anyone is interested you can come please okay, register into a telegram so that we will get it all the all the updates team any new batches and all i'm pinging this in in groups in meeting if anyone is not getting you can plan it i mean okay anyone is not okay, registered please do it done team see i am i am using okay everything is spring data apa so that okay, it would be easy team build path configure build path there is find by long article long refers to the missing type of article and by id go for article repository long all, all are clear team now see i will explain the flow one second team please okay team see i will explain the flow team i will explain the flow first it will go to controller go for this article by id next intentionally i kept this okay sop team first time it will go db get it from second time if i hit 100 times it will not go inside of this this are the rate cacheable as the responsibility to get it the data from the db and store into cache how to store i will check here get article see get this is my cache name do you have any data team now nil if i start see only okay, service only why from service you are calling db it is getting article it is get all articles it is update you can put it or you can okay, delete it if you want okay depends upon your okay, okay, requirement update means if already okay, existing you can okay, remove it and put the latest one these annotations we should use team see i will start the application spring boot starter you should use okay, enable caching team how to connect this okay redis cache team how to connect to this okay redis cache in your properties file local host same here local host port number team how much time you want to store this what is the type of the cache okay redis team here my database okay details team let's see now i will access for what slash article go to my db what is article id is i will give list of all articles team list of all articles okay now let's see this time it will go back and team local host is the default port number 
in zero class Do you have any slash user slash article? You got all this. See, if you observe your log, first time it is printing. If you see whether it will be in printing in our cache or not, get what you are storing team, all articles. Is not there. Let's see. First time it is entered into backend team. From second time again I am okay, okay hitting team. It is going third time, fourth time, fifth time. It is going to your backend only. Why you are storing here? I give here zero team. Now see your result size, your list size is greater than team. Now first time it is going to backend. Second time, third time, see, into backend only. Here, no condition is there. Shall we try this one team? Shall we try this one? First time, slash user slash article ID. One. Not articles, article. One team. Okay, done. One. Now, see, from next time, article ID done from next time it is not going to your back and see see here you will go to here get article cache see team here if you give 100 times here actually it should come this 100 times see understood team so it is storing what key is article id team i should give here get article id somehow it is not printing now here same okay did you observe team only for if you give okay if you give team see if you give 10 times now it will go now why in your application order properties file you give ideal time out is only seven seconds after okay, seven seconds then the data will be okay removed from the cache team see first time i am okay okay hitting team going into back end okay second time hitting okay, have you seen third time hitting means here every two seconds or it is waiting it is you know waiting and it is going into okay, okay back end team let's see i will comment this one How much time it will take default okay if i'm i'm giving 10 times but only only one time came team that means default time and uh, this one team time to live means it is okay six seconds team if i okay, increase here 10 seconds now we'll see First time we'll go to back end. See? It will not go to back end if you observe team. See, always it should go to your, see, after 10 seconds, then only it will go team. If you configured here, 60 seconds means 1 minute. Now here, see. First time back end team. How can I say back end? In your service, I given one of okay, SOP. It is okay, entering into in this method means it is calling your okay, repository. It is not entering into means always okay, data will be bring from the cache. Now you will see. Till one minute, okay, it will not go to your always data will be coming from where back end team hmm, yeah team okay, did you get it team okay, did you understand team if you improve right this one 
you can improve like okay here you will give okay 120 your cash will be there okay depends upon you your requirement always okay, it will not go to till two minutes okay it will not go to your back end team see first time it will go back end that's why it is like, entering into here IMPL it is printing here okay SOP from next time it will not print team see it will not entering into here from next time always it will go to here understood team hope you are clear about cashy team or any okay questions team team okay are you clear team it's about dynamic data means send user will get uh, uh, do, uh, Sir, only, yeah, only static data only will use for cache for dynamic we will not use for sir cache okay. okay because to improve application for performance you are if you go for your hdfc bank offers offers would be same for at least 24 hours loans the data which is common at least 24 hours at least 48 hours at least half an hour one hour within one hour okay. same user is um, sending back and continuously so we are stopping okay sir okay okay team okay, next one team kafka team equation with the kafka team see generally why we should go for this kafka to make generally for asynchronous programming we should use for see you have the okay requirement like this team you have the okay requirements you know kafka is a publisher and okay, okay subscriber model team what is okay publisher and okay, okay subscriber model see here you have a kafka kafka or jms all are same team kafka or ms here you have a okay, mq team q we have a mq message q we have a okay, mq team message q what this will do you know we have your publishers we have this okay publishers team what this okay publishers will do publisher one publisher two publisher three they are publishing the messages into q small example team you have um, you have like a requirement like tata sky tata sky we have okay, different channels are there okay different uh, okay topics are there all are okay topics what is south india package north india package telugu package hindi package we have whenever see all are okay subscribers for for okay south india 100 people are okay 1 lakh people okay subscribe for north india for 1 lakh people okay subscribe see if any new channel would be updated if any new channel would be updated no okay what happened this message no need to go for okay, immediately no need to go okay, immediately to this okay, subscribers what this okay, publisher will do this guy can't publish this what this okay, okay, okay this guy okay publisher will do these publishers can't immediately inform to all they will place this message into queue so that whenever they want okay, subscribers slowly one by one message will be delivered to it is something like that you have a jomata you place a order do you think immediately will get a okay, response team no you are order will be placed into this okay mq team kafka every day of 1 lakhs 2 lakhs users will be uh, you know orders will come all these orders in kafka the okay, restaurants whoever is okay, okay restaurants they will be okay, registered with this kafka they will read the message from this order kafka they will process the okay, request to team i would say it is publisher and okay subscriber model team so publisher will publish the message into queue small small example team you are buying a product in amazon you are 
buying a product in Amazon. If you are buying a product in Amazon, what happened? You choose a product. Product will go to thank you page. Your order is a successful thing. Order will go to one, one will go to email, one will go to your courier, one will go to SMS. Do you think all fraction of seconds will be done? No. Amazon every day millions of the millions of the orders will come Amazon in India every day minimum in India every day minimum 10 lakhs orders will come do you think 10 lakhs one by one Amazon will process no orders all will be placed into one queue whoever is okay subscribe that queue email service SMS or your courier guy courier guy will slowly read the orders from that queue and courier will process courier guy will process the orders this kind of requirement you should go for cuff cutting got it team theory wise okay and the requirement is there event and okay subscriber model then we should go for cuff cutting team are you clear okay everyone so now how to okay, implement this cuff cutting kafka is an it is an open source okay, software that's why it is an famous these days so now how to okay okay how to okay, implement means first one team kafka server should be set up here what is there you have a topic where all the publisher will publish the messages okay and look subscribers will get the data from there and look subscribers will get the data from their team so let's see team please okay, try to understand so in spring boot in spring boot to connect to, to this kafka we need kafka ip address comma topic name comma port number team you know see here unfortunately publisher may be a java here here it is a subscriber a subscriber may be dot net or whoever it is here using i will in the properties file or whatever it i will write team using kafka template i will connect to, to kafka server and publish the message team interested one is here kafka listeners are there create kafka listener never event will come it automatically okay, listen team okay never event will come it will automatically legends and read the one by one message team read the one by one message let's see we'll start how to do it how to okay okay implement it team go for here i have already this kafka bin kafka would is okay depending on you have documentation of Kafka, you can easily you should go. You have documentation. Yes, good team. You can understand easily. You will go easily team. First, we'll how to start this Kafka. Okay, team. First, you should start Jukeeper team. How to start the Kafka? Start Jukeeper because it will manages the kafka where it is go for your bin windows cmd you need to change the okay, locations d software go for your jukeeper dot logs jukeeper dot properties file D Kafka Jukeeper dot logs that is not location. This is the location team. Yeah. Now how to start? How to start? How to start Jukeeper? Jukeeper dot start.
zookeeper started team now go to this next kafka go to this kafka properties file go to here team go to start your kafka windows Kafka also is started now. Now we have a topic. See, okay, we have a topic team. We have a topic team. How to this producer and consume team? We have a topic how this producer and consumer team two ways you can do this is big one no need team actually both are okay, different applications but this configuration you should be you should be having this configuration team turn as and been installed you can open topic also team you can open one more thing one more window windows Windows, you can create the one topic team. New topic. See here. Kafka topics create. I want to create my Spring Boot. Spring Boot topic team. See, your topic is created in Kafka. Now here team, it is my configuration. How to connect to your Kafka. See, Kafka template. It is a producer. It is a consumer app. If you want to know how this Consumer, I can able to see here from the command prompt also. I can able to see if any okay, producer will, will okay publish right. I can see from the consumer also team. Please, it is my consumer. What is the topic here? Not a okay, test topic. What is our topic team? We have created topic is Spring Boot topic. I want to know in this topic if any messages are coming i want to see team from the command prompt also we can publish team see now you will go here command prompt go to your publisher the producer team I am open one more window, consumer team, please. I will explain this same in my okay, Spring Boot also. This consumer team. Go to producer and go to 
consumer it is your producer how your producer is there see sino technologies whenever you place any messages see it will go automatically to your consumer it will place your no your consumer is okay subscribed sino tech spring cloud weekend batch whenever you will place this message automatically it will go to your consumer team so same thing we will see using our spring boot so producer will produce whatever you want it will immediately will go to where see see here consumer how fast it is same thing team see open this okay spring boot application see it is kafka te template producer is required all are okay do you have any topics is there no kafka consumer all is okay now where we are seeing here producer code see producer will produce team he is producing one simple message what is the topic name our topic name what is our topic spring boot topic team in real time client will decide over what is this okay topic team okay remaining all same actually consumer okay different application i am showing here only team consumer is a okay, different application i am showing here consumer at the rate consumer you have a group you should know this topic name team okay same topic name okay fine now now here see how to start this c team i will run only okay, okay spring boot application if i run okay spring boot application go for my producer whatever message i will be placed here my consumer automatically will read team json message okay received automatically it will read i will not call this it will automatically will read cc here i am started my spring boot application started the spring boot application team run as spring boot application i am pushing a message team into where my into where my queue team into my topic you can see that topic inside of here you can see topic inside of this consumer team you are not calling this consumer you are only you are only okay, http colon local host colon what is this here port number is running 9091 slash here go to your where is that main producer slash produce team slash message whatever message you are it is a student message student message is json student id student id name and roll number name and roll number okay. now just to see from the browser i cannot do i should go where postman i am continuously i am place this message into kafka too many applications here which one will stop this one will stop okay now here see i am I am opening this one. Opening team C. 
it is a post one open your data continuously you can see body draw json what is the problem c team please try to understand okay never you your producer whenever you are sent right automatically this listener will lead you are it is a consumer it is a separate application actually it is a but here we are using in single one either you will see your log message here or you will see here also you can see team see what you got json unexpected bad error id role number what is the problem with this json id is okay go to this json producer body id is one two three name is reno role number is okay what is the problem with this json here what extra problem here got Add request unexpected character one. Okay, here only we'll write JSON ID string ID colon name Srinu roll number. See, JSON message is successful. Now here, see team here, you are locked, see. See your lock, observe your lock. How many times I will be okay, submitting your, your Spring Boot application listen okay, that many times. See here, just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, fast orders will be com coming to your, uh, you know, your okay, Amazon, see that many times your your subscriber will read all automatically once it will be can subscribe it keep on okay, notifications are coming here see all are okay, coming or not here team understand team see, this is the concept of you know Kafka team team did you get it team please okay, did you understand team Team, are you clear or anything? Okay, any doubts, team? Okay, team. Good. Okay, next one, team. Next one is a simple one. Logging, right? Logging. How to use this logging, team? See, logging is easy, team. See, you have already logging, right, in this application. What this okay, Spring Boot will do? You don't need to write any logging. Spring Boot has provided some levels. Okay logging levels how to provide these logging levels if you give this logging logging is easy spring boot logging levels compilation in properties why log levels set log level spring boot by default okay spring boot will provide this logging team but only you should add your application dot properties file you should add your application dot properties file just what logs will be enabled in a okay, dev environment what logs will be enabled in that you should do team you should do logging you should give logging logging level logging level dot root logging level dot root you should do logging level dot root root means you can give either debug or warning or whatever it you can give the root logging level dot root see if you give here debugging all logs will come to you. all logs will come see if i stop if i give so now i am getting info warn and above everything if i give only a error team if I give one look info, I would get only okay, info logs team. In in real time, in, in production, what logs will be there? In production only, a okay, error log will be there team. In your real time, 
we have okay different properties file location hyphen dev dot properties file location hyphen not this file t you can give this yaml only test application hyphen dev application hyphen test application hyphen rt so logging level dot root dev means all test also all okay info but to production i would enable only this warn team or only your error team that's it so okay, spring boot will take care during your okay, application is running it will enable how this logging okay how this okay lo logging level team this logging level should be how this okay logging okay, level team logging levels are see now here okay, it should be team first the okay, error logging levels are error fatal comma error comma warn comma info comma debug comma trace comma all team all and off that means order should be this one it should be like th this if you add this fatal no, order sh should be like this how how you will give this order team based on the order okay it should come team based on the order okay it should come if you give all all means all all will come all means all will come if you give trace means all all will come team i would say okay all less than trace less than debug less than info less than war less than error less than fatal less than half team that's it you are okay spring boot application will take care what type of log you would give that type it would be automatically it will take team that's it what type of log would be there that type of okay it will take care team based on this logging information it would be available team based on the logging information it would be okay available team okay team okay yeah team still we have three topics team one is spring boot parallel calls implementation i would explain other one is small topic it is events and listener team see how to okay implement this okay requirement team how to implement okay, logging is a okay, simple team just we will configure in our application dot properties file that's it team now how to implement spring boot parallel calls team how to implement parallel calls in our okay spring boot okay, application team to implement parallel calls in okay spring boot implement okay spring boot then spring boot has provided a concept is called team spring boot completable feature team spring boot has provided the concept is called okay completable feature team how this completable feature how it works now we should to three team see to work implement asynchronous synchronous mechanism in spring in spring with the help of with the help of at the rate async at the rate async and at the rate enabled async annotation rate async and at the rate enabled async annotation so how you should implement it means Okay, very very okay, important team how okay, it can be okay, implemented now here see assume that i have two two backend systems team i have two 
backend systems i have backend 1 and okay backend system 2 i have two okay backend systems backend system 1 and backend system 2 my backend system may be a db here and my backend system may be a dev service team see i want invoke see if it is db generally will write dao if it is a okay services we will write service client team in our real time project coding here we will write dao here we will write then service client team requirement is from service i should call asynchronous means both will okay independent task team not okay depending on okay, anything both will call okay asynchronous no no what i will do you know on top of dao see on top of dao method i just to declare async team okay, on top of dao i just okay declare okay okay async team okay that's it i i just okay declare okay async team now what about here okay what about this service client service client also it would be same team okay Okay, service client also okay, it would be same team on top of on top of this okay, service now here what you will do on top of this service team you, you should write another okay, async team another async so that both will be okay, executed so that both will be okay, executed team parallelity sometimes what happened in your single DO, DAO only, it will be executed parallel team. Okay. Okay. It's all okay. It depends upon the requirement. Okay. Sometimes your single DAO only will be okay, executed parallel team. Okay. And sometimes what happened? It will be two okay, different okay, backend systems team. Okay. Depends upon the requirements team. It's not like always only one team. Okay, let's see how it is happening. How to implement this? Parallel calls. Spring Boot Future Team. Just try to understand team. I am stopping all this Kafka team unnecessarily this windows are opening hope you are good team anyhow you will get to three days videos team if no clarity you can get it and you can see it team okay it's not a problem I am closing this AWS okay, instance also team build path configure build path it should be referred JDK 8 C team, I have a one controller. See, in this example only, you will see how to upload this files also team. That will see. I have a one controller. See, there is a concept is called completable future team. I want to get all cars. It will talk to get all cars here, but see the requirement. Whenever you give async means one separate thread will be created. Save cars. Whenever it is means here one separate okay, thread will be created. Team. So if you see your 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 project, see now even though you have n n number of okay, okay threads will come. See to whenever you want to get all records, one separate async will be called here. It will talk to get all repos and it will get the okay, data team and it will get the okay, data team. 
सो वो के सिंपल वन वो का यू वुड एक्सप्लेन टी मक सिंपल वन सी इंस्टेड ऑफ दिस आई वुड एक्सप्लेन वन सिंपल वन बिकॉज़ हियर इट इज़ एक्सपेक्टिंग टेबल इज एंटिटी गो फॉर योर एप्लीकेशन डॉट प्रॉपर्टीज फाइल Here we are calling in database. One second. This is one of the very very important future team in in our real time. There is no application dot properties file here. I am copy the application dot properties file. I am pasting into src main under main. We have your folder is called resources. No need RD four nine seven. Okay, now let's see. I will create the okay requirement team now. Forget about this okay. This requirement team. I will create the okay requirement now. What is the requirement? One second team. Started. Run as Spring Boot application. We are using a embedded database team. How to access a okay, embedded DB? You can see okay, okay embedded console, okay, in memory DB team. See now, see the okay, requirement here. See, first requirement is how to upload a file team. It is very simple team. I will show you practically. You can able to see. If you want single file, you should go for one. If you want multiple files, you should go for array. If anyone we will ask in our real time how to upload a file means we should tell using multi-part file team. So now, see I have here two two okay requirements team. One is after uploading, you are going to call save course. I want to execute this as a independent thread team. I want to execute this as a okay independent thread team. So here get all cars. I want executed this also as okay independent thread duty. See, whenever these two th threads want to okay, execute it parallelly, each and every method you should declare as a at the rate async team. Each and every method you should declare as a at the rate async means asynchronous. You you no need to wait your okay, response. See, but you have to do this configuration in your application. How many threads you required? Minimum how many? Max how many? 
how many threads can wait this configuration is mandatory thing how many threads can wait in your 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 embedded server default to tomcat thread pool is two how many min threads you want how many match threads you want what is the queue capacity you have to configure team if you are not configure what happened you know it will be not a thread pool team it will be like sequential calls team that means if you configure this hey two threads minimum can run the parallelity two two threads minimum can run parallelity here okay let us see how how it happens started the application team started the application now here t how to test my port number is okay this one team now ctp colon localhost you should give 419 slash you should go for first one api slash call is a post one team post means you should place some file you should place some file how to upload this file okay i will explain now go to your postman how to upload a file team go to here this is a post body form data files body form data these files go to here it is not a text team file select file whatever here you have the location is there you should give this file send it in see if users are trying to hit if users are okay, okay, trying to access it then what happened you know see it will be stored into your save means it will be okay, inserted into your okay okay it's to db once it will be okay, inserted you got the okay, response now okay what response you got whatever data is there you are parsing whole data and you are okay getting this okay data team okay response how you want okay display that response here you are storing all the okay, information into here let's see 201 no data found here no data found don't have this data first here we have data go to this code team yeah here i am giving just to return uh, created means 201 team i am not returning my whole whole response here whenever you call this save cars i have only one i have only one that is the reason it is not returning anything if you want a okay, return team okay it's not a problem go to here save all it return completable future or service would return list team
whenever you call only one it returns that list to you so how you are return this okay, HTTP response now as of now I would add one okay, SOP response entity comma HTTP status dot okay Here you would see not cars list dot get to team list of cars will get let's see. Response entity cannot resolved as a variable. Okay, I can give simple here. Cards dot list. Get. Okay, team. Now here see. Cards list dot get list of cars. List of cars. That's it. Nice yeah. I would explain in our real time okay, use case team real time okay, use case now here see once it is done i would explain in that so that you guys can understand easily when i should go for this forget about all this core team okay in your real time what happened you know you have your dashboard team please please okay very very important team you have your dashboard team you have yeah, some dashboard in our real time this dashboard i have here some details i have here balance details i have here customer details here customer only I want balance and I want uh, I want my customer info more details only but one backend will give balance and one backend will give one backend will give um, customer details please okay try to understand team I will not write code I will write as it is this pseudo code team please new others spring boot i will use your okay, existing spring boot team i will use your okay, existing spring boot it is spring i will use your okay, existing one 
here i don't want to hear too much of confusion it is a simple one team c team please concentrate spring boot app no spring boot demo yes spring boot web demo yes c team how the okay, use case are there it is a simple web application team i want customer of okay, a dashboard team simple use case okay i am providing for you i am i am removing okay everything team it is customer dashboard controller okay no see now here what i want i want this controller right you have a new class customer service Oh, actually important stuff okay next will come please actually important what is actually important new class com dot cnotech dao balance dao i need to talk to balance dao another one is let's on another dao is there customer dao i have a entity class model classes or entity classes model customer i have model balance i have model model customer dashboard i have to please this use case as it is a prototype i will look explain to you okay remaining it will be easy here what i want wait i don't want to use this um, Lambok, I will go team. I can't use how Lambok, Maven, okay, dependency will be easy. I cannot type all these things. So how the how you will use the project okay, development would be easy team. That's always you should know. How fast you will do your project okay, development. We will go here balance right wait sort balance amount balance amount and wait wait balance amount and private if any if any some charges are there string string what is the description wait we have other balances also will be there private float ledger amount okay all our amount information okay that's it what is customer wait string customer name wait string is customer name what is customer uh, email id wait string customer cdt here i have at the rate data i have rate data team go for this balance dao Go for this balance DAO. Now what it will do? Public get balance. If you give string, part number of your customer. Here, what is output here? 
here what is output here here okay what is okay output here please concentrate balance is the output here red here it will talk to your backend system communicate your backend system and get the balance intensity balance balance is equal to new balance t now what happened balance dot set balance balance dot set the description okay. credit good balance dot set ledger amount thousand okay something thing what happened return balance you know here is a important whenever you give a sync it is it is completable it's completable feature you are okay returning what balance t we are new completable feature dot dot feature now oh, here balance t is try to understand see you are same earlier whatever async i have given that configuration would be same thing okay what is your my configuration async okay executor okay task okay okay executor you should give here that name only so that it will be executed same thread to team if you go for customer what is this dashboard will do this will print both balance and both customer dashboard i want both team sorry dashboard i want both the rate data customer do same here public customer customer details input is string card number t same whatever you give here completable feature customer will connect to your backend system of return 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 completable feature dot complete of here whatever logic is there communicate with the back end systems and get the data team that's to team here i am a hard coding team in your real time here hard coding dot set see hyderabad dot set 
customer name srinu set email id srinu dot srinu tech at the rate gmail dot com team. now here see please here what i will do whatever async is async team i want to both team in my service here is okay important team it is at the rate component a balance also at the rate component in my service please here actual story will start if i if you will be out work understand done team here is my service right component here public customer customer dashboard customer dashboard dot java i want this get customer details input is string now here see here team here actual story will start what is your actual story please try to understand what is your actual story i need to whenever a request will come two threads will come first one thread one call to balance dao second thread will call to customer dao these two parallelly will call team okay without having any that is because of a async team these two will be calling parallelly team now we'll see team here now here what happened dot get balance card number now what it returns balance future it returns this is called actual actual uh, parallel calls team but what it will be happened dot now what it returns returns customer future team so you are making two or parallelly not one by one if any thread will come two threads will come at a time two are calling parallelly what is two threads will come no thread will wait for this okay response this will look executed asynchronously this will also get executed asynchronously once i got the response once i got the response what i will do here you know team customer da okay response dot set no instead of two what i will do i want both responses right dot get balance Our dashboard dot set to balance. Balance future dot get. That's it. 
customer dot set customer do dot get that's it finally i am returning this response to whom my controller this issue here and handle exception that's fine Understood team. So you are making here both are asynchronous calls to get the data. Finally, you are okay displaying that token data in where from controller you are calling public customer dashboard get dashboard string card number you are applying all whatever you want great auto wire customer service that's it so you give here dot get customer details it returns card details. Everything did. So return. return custom. Understood team. This is the way how you will be okay, implement in your real time spring boot with the parallel calls. Any pop up? Question team, okay, you can ask. Your critical is you should remember this one thing. Got it, team? Or any questions, team? Okay, team. So last topic, team. Concept is called how the this okay Spring Boot will uh, provide the events and okay listener city. Last one. How the Spring Boot will provides the events and okay, listener city. New Spring Boot application. I would to take this okay, standalone application stream core. Okay, that's fine. This basic core is okay enough team. How to start my Spring Boot? Here is that okay, test right. This is more than enough. During your application startup, your Spring Boot will perform so many actions team with the help of with the help of this okay, legioner team okay with the help of this okay, legioner team how this okay, legioner will be executed how it happened now we'll see now okay we'll see those okay, things team i would say here simply i would call a b b legioner b a legioner b legioner b simple application team i am not taking anything it is a my either you can go again or you will write here only team private static class a listener b now a okay listener b now what happened here you know create b return new a listener b just creating one object team here now what is there in this here you know here we have some event listeners team event listeners we have so many event listeners public wide and in when your, your spring boot will context refreshed at that time context refreshed event event will be called team system dot out dot print ln context refresh event received event like that you have so many events are there during your application startup around six listeners team how spring boot will take care of all this stuff during your application startup it is context refreshed Another one is context started. 
during context started your application ioc container will be created at the time started event will be called to started event during your application stopped at the time one event would be called to that is called context stopped event how this spring boot will be you know uh, when you run your spring application dot run method how all actions will be happened internally this event will be happened this event will will give the request to, to listener listener will take care to uh, okay, update to your container team last one team context reload and closed next will reload context refreshed context stopped event stopped event and closed team text closed event not reload context closed reload is not context closed team stopped start and okay okay refreshed team how see actually whenever you start your okay whenever you start your container let's talk a register team context to dot register rotation config application context context is equal to context to dot register or configurable application context here will you get registered notation config application context context is equal to. is a class right context dot registered your test dot class team okay now so system dot out dot println refreshing the context the spring container whenever it will be a refresh now what happened dot refresh whenever refresh okay which one will be called team okay refresh will be called like that i want to show you all the stopping starting closing that's it one is okay refreshing is done another one is stopping the context another one is starting the context Another one is closing the context. Input internally will use close team. See, if I run the application now, Spring Boot, every time your container refresh, stop, start, how it happens internally, the corresponding event listeners, you know, corresponding events will be invoked. Listeners will listen that it will inform to whom your it will look okay, inform to your container team got it team see let's see if you run your spring boot application see refresh context this event will be happened stop this event started that event closing closed event see are you calling anywhere this events team are you calling anywhere this events no you are not calling before calling this refresh what it is called refreshed event before calling stop event will be called before started event will be started event will be called before closed started event every this okay 
the context based on the event listeners only the spring boot whole it will be executed i told right to time here starting one what happened when spring application dot run method will be executed i given steps here identify the so after that it will register how it will register a event will be called okay, registered event t after registered prepare the context a event will be called you know this one starting the context t after that refresh a event will be called refresh t spring boot internally this based on the, this events only all these actions would be performed t. that's it this is what see i told right during the above stages it will publish various okay, different types of events and it will okay, invoke the listeners to perform the operation this is what internally happened understood team this is what whole the spring boot team any questions team do you think anything is missing team here whatever commitment we give from introduction to year team everything i have provided to you yeah, thank you all